Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. This channel's starting to explode, so if you're new here, my name is Sean Kelly. Welcome to Evergreen Organics. I started this channel a few months ago so that I would have the opportunity to document the building of our 5,000 square foot timber frame. I'm so excited to get into these chisels. See that light flicker that was behind me that was from these lights? I've been trying to get rid of that light flicker for a while, so anyways, bear with me, right? Uh, I'm filming in my basement here. I ordered a set of five timber framing chisels from the Northman Guild last October and they just arrived today. I haven't even cut the box open yet. I wanted to do it with you guys. I'm really excited. These are, in my opinion, the best timber framing chisels in the entire world and I'm so thrilled that I get to have my very own set of them. So we're going to do a little bit of unboxing and, uh, and we'll, we'll see what we uncover. Okay friends, I know this is not the perfect camera angle, but I've got limited space down here, so let's get into it. I did cover up the addresses to protect the innocent. I don't even need a knife for this. Oh, I don't even know where to start. Oh, looks like we've got a opening down here. Boy, cardboard is thicker in Latvia. These took a long time to get here, but, um, and I had checked in with them one time just to see how things were going a couple months ago. You know, they had let me know that they were working on the handles, but that they had already Finish the forging of the chisels. Anything of this quality is is worth waiting for. These are multi-generational tools right here. This is one of the things I love so much about high quality tools, particularly hand tools, is this will last longer than my lifetime. You know, I'll be able to give this chisel set to my son, unless he has no interest in timber framing, which is, <laughs> very possible. I think I'm going to start with the smallest package here and then we will uh, we'll work our way up to the slick. Also, you know, I'm uh, a big fan of high quality tools and so what do I do? I carry a, a Milwaukee Fastback with me at all times. I keep a wicked sharp blade in this thing for about two days and then I keep a dull blade in it for the next month and a half until I switch out <laughs> the blade because I don't I don't know why you know I keep wicked sharp chisels I keep wicked sharp kitchen knives I keep sharp everything else and then I keep a dull disposable blade in this Okay friends, here they are. Which one do I even start with? I think I'm gonna go with this one. I think this is the one inch. I can feel the leather sheath right here. Look at that. Look at that. Oh man. Look at that. Tight. No play. Absolutely no slop. <laughs> Look at that, friends. You talk about a mirror finish. It's perfect. That is incredible. I tell you what, you guys, I've done a lot of sharpening and I've tried to put finishes like this on chisels by hand and it is not an easy thing to do. I mean, this craftsmanship is just unparalleled. They're still even slightly sticky and I wonder if that's from the oil from the quenching process. I mean, 
that is just incredible. Hand forged. Beautiful. Yeah. All right, so I should probably make sure I have this right. Look at that. Perfect. Absolutely no slop. Okay, we've got chisel number one. I think this is the inch and a half chisel here. Oh, I might have been wrong. I think that's our two inch chisel. I'm just a plumber guy, so I gotta two inch chisel. Yep. That is a sharp chisel. Um, that is unbelievable. Unbelievably beautiful. All right, this next one, I'm going to pop this one open. You know, I'm I'm a little nervous about this chisel, I'm not going to lie. This is a corner chisel, and just from what I've seen on videos about sharpening these, I think it might turn out to be a real challenge to sharpen this chisel. But I know Jim from the Tradesman channel doesn't really use corner chisels, but I'm excited to, to give one a try. I've never used a corner chisel. So I'll be slightly interested to see what this... Uh, sheath looks like for it as well. Now that's a pretty nifty setup. Check that out. Wow. I mean, these are just stunning. I just cannot, I can't believe it. Look at that. Incredible. So here's our corner chisel. Man, I'm so excited to throw these into some wood. Probably be making some uh, timber frame sawhorses coming up here. So I'll definitely be making a video on that when I do make those sawhorses. Here's our inch and a half. I guess this kind of zoomed out and give you a kind of a perspective of just how long these are. Same thing, gorgeous edge. Absolutely. Whew. Yep. Can't do that too much or I won't have any arm hair left. Take a look here. <clears throat> Foot and a half long, 18 inches. I have no idea how many centimeters that is. Last but not least, we've got our timber framing slick. <laughs> look at that. Oh. I mean the craftsmanship is unbelievable. This handle is so smooth. Beautiful. The leather inlay. I mean everything is really done to perfection. I'm kind of at a loss for words you guys. There's a slightly curved edge to this slick. It's literally tacky. You know when you get a chainsaw chain when you get teeth really sharp and you look for that like tackiness where you just touch it and your finger sticks. That's how sharp this is. This is this is the level of sharp we are talking about here.
That is something else. I'm so excited to put these to good use, you guys. If you want to build a big timber frame, it, it really starts with having decent hand tools. You don't have to spend this kind of money on timber framing chisels. I chose to spend this kind of money on timber framing chisels because, you know, this is something that I want to pass down for generations. And so, to me, it was absolutely worth it. The other big thing is that the Northman Guild is something that I believe in. It's more than just a guild of carpenters. It represents green construction and it represents uh, a way of doing things in the old way which I deeply respect. Three inches. Everything is perfect. Just so you guys can see for scale, I mean, how big this slick is. This thing is just phenomenal. Cannot wait to use these. Incredible. Feels like my birthday. It actually was my 33rd birthday last week. And I feel like the luckiest boy in the whole wide world. I mean, I feel like I, I own some of the nicest chisels money can buy. Uh, I want to thank the Northman Guild. I'm just beside myself. I can't wait to put these into wood, and I'll be making tons and tons of videos using these, so you guys will get to see them put to good work. I haven't seen any reviews on these on YouTube yet, so I'm really excited that I get to show these puppies off for you guys. Friends, I want to thank you for spending some time with me today, checking out these beautiful chisels made in Latvia by the Northman Guild. Coming up in the next couple weeks, we are going to actually start digging and forming up the foundation for the barn, which is what we were milling the form boards in the last video for. I will leave a link to that video right here. If you like the content that you see here, please consider giving us a like and a subscribe. Leave a comment, please. It really uh, helps the algorithm for this channel, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.